Across America, the Satanic Temple, based in Salem, Massachusetts, is attempting to place after-school Satan clubs in the least likely of places, elementary schools. The demonic organization, which claims 700,000 members and over three dozen chapters scattered around the U.S., wants kids to learn about freedom of religion and pluralism in a satanic way. Lucien Greaves, the co-founder of the Satanic Temple, says young children need to discover empathy, compassion, and critical thinking. The devilish group can help, Greaves claims, through their program of engaging coloring books and puzzles for children to solve. Those good intentions might be believed if the Satanic Temple never peeled back its sheep's clothing to reveal the ravenous wolf's intentions beneath. Watch clips of this disturbing Satanic Temple commercial meant to lure elementary kids into joining a club whose authors admit the curriculum was written by ministers of Satan. The video immediately plunges children into the forbidden world of Satanism as youngsters feast on ghoulish, haunting music and images of slow motion kids living in a colorless, sapless, and pointless world. to shock, to polarize, to seek attention, to scare. It's meant to seduce children into discovering their dark and taboo desires, even though most are not old enough to understand the Prince of Darkness or perhaps how to spell his devilish name. Your skin might crawl at the notion of a Satan club for 5 to 12 year olds. But knowing more might also make your skin crawl back and peel. When presenting themselves to school board members, the Satanic Temple presents themselves in sheep's clothing. We don't decry or begrudge anybody having a prayer event or anything like that. It does become a problem, a serious problem, when you allow back to school prayer event, but you don't allow any other religious representation. Nothing to see here but benevolence, empathy, and common sense. They're giving them access to our children. They should be nowhere near any schools. When the sheep's clothing is peeled back, we see this from their creepy video, Carnival saint Denis. <laughs> Thank you.
Elsewhere, we see the satanic but temple burning the Bible. Them, he has not yet been assimilated. Placing an inverted cross on a stack of tampon boxes and auctioning a killer clown holding a meat cleaver. They proudly support an ancient Roman feast called Lupercalia, which celebrates the sacrificing of sheep to dogs. They also celebrate menstruating with Satan, Blasphemy Day, and of course, Satanic Pride. They even offer Satanic abortion rituals. The Satanic Temple advances many just causes as an expression of our deeply held beliefs. The Satanic Temple has created a religious ritual that involves terminating an unwanted pregnancy during the first trimester. The religious abortion ritual involves the recitation of our third and fifth tenets, along with a personal affirmation during the abortion procedure. The Satanic Temple proudly announces to all of its followers that within the states that have enacted the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, religiously performed abortions are exempt from legal requirements that are not medically necessary. The Satanic Temple's idol is Baphomet, a nine-foot-tall, horned, goat-headed, winged hermaphrodite that was unveiled for the first time at the Arkansas State Capitol in 2018. It depicts two small children worshiping at the feet of the beast. During satanic gatherings, they feature black magic events such as unbaptisms, which the satanic temple describes as not for the faint of heart. Non -Serbia. Non -Serbia. Non -Serbia. Non -Serbia. And adds, no photography or recordings of any kind during the Black Mass and unbaptisms. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! It is done. Disrobing the Satanic Temple from its sheep's clothing should give even the most sheepish school board plenty of pause before approving after-school Satan clubs for elementary children. In this video, the Satanic Temple tells children Satan looks for truth, that he is not an evil guy, and there is no hell. Satan looks for truth, let's help him boys and girls. Satan's not an evil guy, he wants you to learn and question why, he wants you to have But if that's not enough for school board members, the puzzles and games these elementary kids will likely play should leave school officials no doubt that after-school Satan clubs are not fit for five to 12-year-olds. The Satanic Tipple has published a book it believes will help guide these little tots through the perils of childhood. It's called The Satanic Children's Big Book of activities. Youngsters can color Annabelle's study filled with satanic literature and philosophy. Despite this angry and scowling look from a teacher, kids can then connect the dots to draw an inverted pentagram, which is the official symbol for the Church of Satan. Finally, Annabelle performs a satanic ritual for her class by magically altering the teacher's cup, clock, chalkboard, dress, and the frog's skin. Besides its demonology, the Satanic Temple says the activities book serves another purpose, writing, This is a very serious activity book that is specially perfect for children of conservative religious households. Quite the admission.
but some in the Christian community are fighting back, such as in Chesapeake, Virginia, where the Satanic Temple announced in December 2022 the formation of an after-school Satan club at B.M. Williams Primary School, grades K through 2. Meet Stephen Sherbaum, a Chesapeake resident, father, teacher, and devoted Catholic. When Mr. Sherbaum learned an after-school Satan club was planned for B.M. Williams Primary, he immediately took action and formed a community protest. If I'm not there to stand up against it, who's going to be there? Um, I really feel that if this is allowed to happen, a a scourge will come upon the city of Chesapeake. And if we say, if we just keep waiting for somebody else to do it, nothing's gonna be done. So there was a lot of outcry at that time. Um, at the school board meeting we had on December 12th, there were, I believe, 68 speakers that were there. Um, and probably around 40 or so were speaking against the club. They said, like, under no circumstances should they meet. They opened the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance and all the Satanists remained seated. The other thing that was quite scandalous to me as a Christian was the After School Satan Club says that they're coming because um, of the Good News Club. They say that they're like the, the counter argument to that. And there were actually representatives from the Good News Club that were there saying that they felt that, they, that the Satanists had the same right to meet that they did. So that was just heartbreaking to hear that because Satan should have no rights. Ultimately, you don't have a right to do a wrong. And several weeks before, there was a tragic shooting at a local Walmart right down the road, probably a, a mile, less than two miles away, on the same street as BM Williams. An employee shot and killed six people inside the store on Sam Circle before taking his own life. The Walmart remains closed as funerals and vigils continue to honor the six victims. Families and friends are still burying their loved ones. As Chesapeake tries to pick up the pieces and Walmart decides what's next for the store that holds a horrific memory. And um, the shooter actually commended his shooting or had some reference to Satan doing that. We gathered together, we prayed the rosary, we made a novena, we prayed for nine straight days in front of the school, we prayed in front of the school board, and we received a lot of positive support from the community. And through calling the school and getting some answers, we found out that they did ultimately approve the application kind of in the dark. But anyways, at the first school board meeting, there was somebody from Denver, Colorado, I believe she was the program coordinator for the After School Satan Club. And she had words that were absolutely chilling to me. This should serve as a warning for everybody. She said, you Christians, you get all worked up about this, but you wait, the next news cycle is gonna come around and all of you are gonna forget about us. And we're gonna enter the school and we're gonna be wonderful members of the community and everybody's gonna love us and you're gonna forget about us. You know, we were put here for a time and place. So why, was, why am I placed here in Chesapeake, Virginia at this time and place? You know, right down the street, my daughter goes to BM Williams one hour a week. If it's not me that God said, like, you need to do something, it's very humbling to be put in that situation. There, and I'm not the only one, but it seems that most of the other churches in the area have just completely fallen by the side. And it's, it, it is sad. We fully trust that standing beneath your shadow and protection. The Satanic minister appointed to supervise the after-school Satan Club at B.M. Williams Primary is a woman by the name of Rose Nochill Bastet. Photos that she has posted on her Instagram account should make any parent cringe or worse. So there were a number of pictures that were shown. We looked at her Instagram account. It was all public. None of it's private. But she had one picture of a baby in a roasting pan being thrown into the oven and it said, Happy Atheist Thanksgiving. And um, somebody showed this at the school board meeting, and the Satanists, there were about 20 of them, they just broke out in extreme laughter, like the funniest joke. And I just, I just blessed myself because it's the level of depravity you have to go down to think that that's funny. You know, having children myself, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. And if we stand back as parents, as fathers, and we allow this to happen, how is God gonna look at us? We're living in clown world right now, and we have to try to restore order. You know, there was also the atheist Barbie doll where it says, you know, always up for an orgy. And then she said that she wanted to dress up like her in a, for Halloween. So, you know, Barbie's not wearing any pants. And there's a caption saying, you know, always up for a surprise orgy. So it's like you're around children that play with Barbie dolls. You know, this is something you should not find humorous or put up, at least not on a public forum. They want to make a mockery of our religion. And they, they won't stop just getting it out of their own lives. They want to make sure it's out of everybody's life.
That's the rule of Satan. We hope that you know we can rid this area of the very strong demonic forces that are here. They're everywhere. Um, you know, they say that Satan, Satan's referred to as the prince of the world in, in the Bible. So he's everywhere. He's, he's got his hands in everything. So it's our job as Christians to fight against the spirit of the world and really have a spirit of Christ reign.